Welcome back to We Can Smile. Okay, so today our topic is settling in relationships. So we discuss what you need to know if you're concerned that you might be settling in your relationship. To help us unpack this today, we have with us media personality, Norrin Price, to offer a man's perspective in getting to the bottom of this situation. Okay. Norrin, welcome. Hi, Norrin. Welcome. Hello, How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having You're me. You're good. You got the memo today. Yeah, we're all matching, colors. right? I love it. No, I love it. Great minds. You listen, we think alike. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, so, so Norrin, this is a topic that's always a topic of discussion, yes. you know, settling and relationships and whether if it's working or it's it's not and all of these things but what would you define as settling in a relationship let's start there okay um, everybody's definition is a little different what to me settling is deciding to stay in a relationship that for the most part is comfortable even if you have strong feelings of what you're not getting but you decide whether for convenience or comfort or laziness you decide I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Can't yeah, bother move, so I'll stay here. So you're comfortable. Yes, you and comfortable is not necessarily a bad thing all the time. Yeah. yeah. But if you are bypassing things that you really want, that are really important to you, mm -hmm. because you're not getting it, mm -hmm. but because of what you might be getting, you said, okay, I'll stay. Mm. That's that's kind of what settling is. So for the persons that throw out there and say, well, compromise, settling. How would you help us to understand the difference, perhaps? I'd say there's there's a thin line between the two because. Compromise comes from you accepting that this is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it and I'm good. Right. But when you start complaining about it in other realms or feeling affected by it in other realms while still staying, mm -hmm. that's not comfort, that's not compromise, you've not settled. Because what you're not getting is still kind of... You yeah, want but, it. But okay. I think the question then comes up as to nobody will ever be perfect or ideal or 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 tick off everything True. off your list. And I don't think you should ever look for that. I don't think right. perfection so, doesn't exist. So, in that so is it then that you decide what you are willing to take and what not to take, what you're willing to deal with and hmm? what you're not willing to deal with? What you can and cannot what you can and cannot deal with. And right. then that would be, I guess, the, the factor that determines whether or not it's settling or compromise. Because you weigh the both of them. And if what you're not getting, you're okay with, yeah, then that's fine. But if you, what you're not getting is still a source of discontent Discom within yeah. you, whether vocally or not. Right, right, right. Okay. Because you know inside. Clearly the fact that it's still that bothering you means that you're not that you dealing should. with it. So what do you think are some of the reasons why persons might choose to settle? Settle? Uh, Loneliness, impatience is a big one. And by impatience, I mean if you see everybody around you coupling up and you want that too. So instead of taking the time to necessarily know the person you're talking to, you just jump in because, hey, it feels good enough, let me work with it. Yes, yeah, it's true. It's true. So impatience is a big one. Yeah. Um, loneliness is another one. Sometimes when you're getting older as well, you kind of settle yeah. because you're like, you know what, never mind, let me just. And, and that kind of leads now. with the impatience because yeah. whether we want to admit it or not, Many of us are affected by other people's opinions. Yeah, okay. that's true. So you have that one auntie or that one uncle that said, Lord, you know, married you know, yet, yet. Yeah, no. When you have a husband, you need to have some kids no, you know, all the time. Just one like, picnic? <laughs> one two, yeah. Or, so, or your time is running out, you know, yeah. come so on. So there, there, there's, a fear, <laughs> there's a fear of shame. Okay. Yeah. And that will push you to necessarily get, okay, I'm getting enough of this, let me just work with yeah. it. Yeah. Because society does pro provide a certain amount of pressure. Yeah, you know? but but if you are the partner that I guess they they settled for, right? Mm -hmm. Can can you eventually identify that? Guess what? Mm -hmm. You just eventually know that so the person just here because they settled for you. You you better <laughs> you, you better be able to see that <laughs> because. No, but, but if that is the case, suppose I settle for you and you settle for me. We're not settle for settle. We're alright. Where? And, and if, here's the thing. And like <laughs> I said, if, if get you're eighty percent, you get eighty percent. We're good. If you're okay with it right. and it doesn't cause you frustration when you're not in front of the person, then that's mm. fine because you've decided we're settling, let's do this. Okay, okay. So, okay, no, go ahead, Nisha. So we decide, so we, uh, we're, we're settling, right? Mm -hmm. um, tell us, what are some of the telltale signs yeah. that right. you have settled um, or that he has settled for me or I've settled for him? Tone and tense. Tone and? Tense. Okay. The tone you use when you're speaking to that person or even the speech pattern. Hmm. You have little signs, so instead of, hey baby on the phone, it's, mm. <laughs> But that just could become a vex, my yeah. vex, and I'm, I don't have no niceties. And that's fine for one individual time. Suppose over it's the just, years, instead of the other. pet names, it's your full name. 
Yeah. Or it's not even calling your name, it's just, yes, what happened now? All right, cool. <laughs> but no, but no, no, but... No, but the thing think, sounds think sticky. But what I feel like when, when you talk about pet names now, right? I feel like that is... Probably, you know, when them call it, what them call it again, the fairy tale stage, right? Yes. Right? Or when is it something in the honeymoon stage? Right. The yes. honeymoon the honeymoon start. Start. No, no. If you're talking bouquet and dinners, not anymore. Yeah, you could call that coming up to the honeymoon phase. Okay. But when you're with somebody and it has become a loving relationship, there are certain things that are so natural, mm -hmm. like babe. As opposed to the person's it name, com it comes, it comes unconsciously. Unconscious. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like what? you do that too um, when you're settling, because because you start doing things out of habit. So because it's habitual, you could still be feeling like you're settling and a little bit resentful. But what if? Still... But what if it goes from hey baby to yeah babe, where are you? Where wants? Where, where you want now? Lack of uh, eye contact. So 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 Nora, let let me see some of the signs now. It says you look for reasons to be annoyed. Mm. Oh yeah. So you're, you're thinking about why you're annoyed with this person. Is that healthy? No, it's not because <laughs> to me, that is the start of resentment. Okay. And when you settle, even if you're not trying to, little flecks of resentment start building up. So like okay. I said, you start looking for a reason to be annoyed. Right. Okay. Things that, yeah, never you leave somebody, all of a sudden, yeah. you're Again. at book club and you are just Okay. Spewing fire because of this thing this person keeps this doing. And probably it's just thing. so simple. A simple little Probably it's just how, how, what you forget for just turn off the light. And sometimes it's the simple. madness or the, the aggression that the person is throwing towards their partner. Some, of it, is, some of it is yeah. they're upset with themselves because they settle. But you okay. don't want to say it out loud because then you're admitting that. Nora, yeah. Nora, Nora. So, all right, the next one is what, what we have yes, here. Yes, so you're not sure that you can find someone else. Hmm? So your, that is a sign that you're You settling. may be concerned about your worth. Maybe you don't think that you match this person. Because so that's okay. you internally knowing this. Inter he won't be able to spot it. Okay. okay. And then you, you mentioned feeling resentful instead of excited about the future. So I, I have to ask you this before we, we close out though, Doran. How, how difficult or um, easy is it for people to actually be honest with themselves and with mm. each other mm. when they're settling. Honesty or, is know? not, it's, it, they say it's the best policy, but it's the hardest it's policy. The hardest thing. Okay. Because. Yeah. Do you yeah. recommend it? I do, but be prepared for whatever you might get. Yeah. Because I think we okay. are quicker to be honest with other persons. I don't like your this, I don't like your that, I don't like whatever. But it's a whole other thing to be honest with ourselves that I am. It's easy to be honest and yeah, to tell real with somebody else, yeah. but okay. when you have to look in the mirror and that reflection yeah. is not looking too shiny. All right, thank you so much. Well, thank you, thank you for sharing those topic of those, um, Thank you very those much. Tips. I love it. Awesome. about settling. I hope you guys learned something this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so guys, we will be right back. Join us after the break. <laughs>